Hey there, this Saturday, the match of the week shall be between two teams that are sitting at a score of two wins and one loss. It will be between time chasers that are a Lithuanian team and team Titan, a team from Latvia. Today, I'm joined by Keen. Keen, this, this is not my first time trying to make an interview with you. Like, we know the story, but I'm actually like, really grateful that even though it is almost 1.30 a.m., you still managed to find time for a call. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but, I'm, a night, I'm a night owl, so it's actually a, a lot easier for me to call you when it's uh, really late. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe it's not so good for my schedule, but like, I mean, you know, like things need to be done. It's, it's better for us to have an interview than like on a Saturday for me to stand like, well, I didn't manage to make another interview. Like, sorry, guys. But yeah, yeah. Uh, before I start asking like all the interesting and maybe like spicy questions, uh, I would like to maybe make like a small introduction because uh, there might be people like that maybe know you not like know like very little about you or know nothing at all. Uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, you started playing in the Baltic Esports League from season two. Is that correct? Right? Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah. I almost played in season one as well, but the team didn't work out. There was uh, not a lot of people know about that, but it didn't work out. So yeah, I started season two. Mm -hmm. And you played in Mighty Wolves, right? Yes. Uh, I think, yeah, correct, yeah. Yeah. And then in season three, you were in reverse card, uh, but you guys went 1-3 after week four, so like you dropped out of the league. Luckily for yeah, you... Yeah, it was... <laughs> yeah, yeah. S say again? Uh, I just wanted to say like that luckily for you, like even though you dropped out of the league uh, you got yourself uh, with team titan and you know you got to semi-finals so yeah uh i could have played that season with a latvian mix called monko as well but i chose to play with the estonians for some odd reason it was uh it wasn't too great we didn't do, do too great on um, yeah i was uh i was kind of shook by that and then i just returned to playing with latvians again after mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. Yeah, like, and you're doing really good. Like with Team Titan, you like last season you reached the semifinals. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, Sacramento denied you the trip to the land. But like, hey, who knows? Like, what happens like this season, right? Uh, also, like in uh, almost in the end of the previous season, uh, your team made a small roster change, uh, during which uh, the captain of Volson Husky took uh, the spot of Viscous in the team, which was kinda uh, a shocking change because first of all you know like uh husky not in volsung okay let's imagine and then like he's going to play with you like a guy that he mentioned as like the worst teammate he ever had like <laughs> what what was your initial reaction to the idea of playing with him in the same team well to be honest i've been i've been down to playing with him for a while um I've never been one to beef. I've always been the guy hated, but never really the guy who hates somebody else. Mm. Um, uh, I was down to play with him a long time ago. It's a shame it took us uh, it took us beating him before he joined us because uh, I'm pretty sure he could have like played with us a, a, a long time ago. And we would have had like way more success than we did. Obviously, he left esports now, which is uh, and we didn't manage to do enough yeah i feel like we could have done way way more with him but yeah uh, i was happy he agreed to play um because uh, i've respected him for a while uh the reason he called me the worst player he's ever played with was uh, it was a really really bad team nothing mixed perfectly there the synergy was off and yeah we we had our fights we had our differences and uh it's a shame it ended with a burned bridge then and mm -hmm. it took me beating him for me to like be able to play with him again mm -hmm. uh other than that yeah i, I was happy <laughs> yeah i mean i mean yeah like uh as i understand like the right now there's like no hard feelings between you two and like i mean you him like uh, aza shield and displex like you won like uh, eca may like not so long ago which is like pretty cool if you ask me uh but yeah as you mentioned unfortunately after new year uh he announced that he's uh, going to uh, stop playing csgo uh and he's going to pursue a career in aviation um i 
as I understand, uh, he will still stay with you guys until the end of the season. Is that right? Yeah. Um, yeah, he's going to play the season with us. Uh, we're obviously looking for a fifth, and we found one. Um, we're going to start practicing with our new fifth, but we're going to finish the season with him. And hopefully we'll, we'll like do great and get playoffs and stuff. Mm. Obviously, he's not so committed anymore. He's committed to his aviation career, which is awesome. Um, I'm grateful. Like uh, I know somebody that's uh, that cool and I, that's like smart mm -hmm. enough to do all that. It's a shame we didn't have a longer career together in esports. But mm -hmm. yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah, it's understandable. Like if he needs to study, you'll not be able to practice like enough and. Yeah, like that's like how team works. Like teams work. Like you need to actually practice and put in the time. Uh, and as I said, like uh, I think according to Gekons, uh, he said like you had like zero prax uh, due to the holidays, which I guess kind of explains uh, last week's result when uh, your team got uh, your first loss of the season. You know, like against yeah. Akatsuki. Uh, from your perspective, what went wrong in your series against them? Uh, they were better. <laughs> we weren't all ready to play at all. Uh, as Gekons mentioned, we hadn't practiced at, at all. Um, I had like 18 or 17 hours past two weeks. Obviously, I've been busy with work, busy with like uh, relationships and stuff, and like like meeting my friends during the holidays and stuff. Uh, and other stuff, uh, CS wasn't our priority. Um, Obviously, Husky uh, found out he's like able to go pursue a career in aviation. So, like, he like uh, he wasn't committed that much anymore, and like nothing really went in our way in that game as well. It was mm -hmm. a really hard game, um, but it wasn't a hard pill to swallow because we kind of expected for them to win. They're really good players. Uh, props to them. They're all good. Uh, with the fraggers and stuff, they're not a team, mm -hmm. they're mixed, but they're still really good. Um, so yeah, props to them, but it wasn't it wasn't our best showing. We could have done way better if we had all the practice and had a bit of luck on our side as well. Mm, okay, uh, that's actually actually really nice to hear. But uh, will you be able to squeeze in like some practice sessions this week? Uh, as I said, we we're not practicing with Hoski anymore. Uh, we since like he's. Like leaving esports, there's no mm -hmm. point with a course to practice with him. Uh, BSL isn't currently our number one priority anymore. We're focus on, uh, focusing on ESCA. Um, obviously, we got ESCA advanced since we won ESCA main last season, mm -hmm. which is a really big deal. And we like we're really keen on keeping the slot there. Uh, uh, so yeah, we're probably going to go into the next game with no practice, but I hope we're all individually ready for the game. Uh, I think we can win the game. Um, I'm I'm hopeful, but it is what it is. The situation currently is really hard for us, and uh, it's it's gonna be tough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because like this uh, week you're going to play against Time Chasers, which is a a team and not a mix from Lithuania. Uh, what do you think will be the outcome of the series? I, I'm not one to I'm not one to. Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I'm not one to guess what's ha what's going to happen and what's not. Uh, I expect for the game to be hard, but not because the team's really good. Uh, the team we're playing against is really good, but because we're just not simply ready to play as mm -hmm. a team or as a mix together. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna root for my boys, and I think we 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 can take the game. Uh, it's gonna be rough. It's gonna be tough. Um, but you do if we show our a game, we can we can we can definitely win. I hope. Okay, and for example, right now the two teams that already uh, qualified for the playoffs uh, are Lithuania and Akatsuki, and six more teams are going to join them pretty soon. Which four teams do you expect to qualify for the LAN in Riga? Let me let me pull up the list of teams. Um, obviously, if, well. Hard to say. Um, I guess. Uh, I guess Sacramento. I I think Sacramento was a fluke. I don't think they're gonna like get there. Uh, I was hoping we'd get there, but since me, uh, us, and Husky are parting ways, that's probably gonna be really hard for us to do. 
I, I imagine it's going to be the Lithuanians and yeah, Kotski. If I had to guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm looking forward to see, like, I really want to see at least like one Latvian team. How, how it, it, it's always the same way. It's always like like one Latvian team that goes to a land and stuff like that. Like, I really hope like at least one. Maybe it will be you guys. Like, who knows how it will work out. Is it top two again or is it top four now? It's top four. It's top four. Top four. So that changes a lot. Um, actually, no idea. I haven't been following uh, like the teams really, really precisely uh, for a long time now. So I'm not sure who's good, who's not. But I imagine Akotsky, Lithuania going there. Uh, I hope we are. Um, I really hope we are. Sacramento might go. And yeah. Let's see what time chasers are up to uh, next ne next game we play. I'm gonna see how they play. Perhaps they're really good now. Perhaps they're they like uh, good enough to go to the LAN and like show their showing. But uh, there's only two teams I know that are really good. It's Kotski and Lithuania. That, you, that, those two, I'm sure of. Do you see any Estonian teams actually going to the LAN? Like not really at this point. No, <laughs> no. Oh, no. Estonia has, uh, has fallen off. I uh, haven't been like focusing on on the Baltic scene too much lately, but uh, I've I've noticed that Estonians are on what they were before in good old WASD days. Mm -hmm. Lithuanians are are uh, coming coming now for the those number one trophies, and Latvians are lagging behind them in between. But I mean, imagine Latvians are like better than Estonians in that way, and I hope that. There's gonna be a Latvian team in the land, and I, I'm sure no Estonians are gonna get that. But they're open to prove me wrong. Okay, I'm really looking forward to see you on the land uh, with your team, like on the stage. And uh, and really, thanks a lot for uh, this interview. Thank you for like finding the time, like at one like forty a.m. on a <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> uh, really. Yeah, I'm crazy at work. <laughs> yeah, but like. But good luck uh, again like, in your series against time chasers. Like, it will be you. hard, but like, I, you'll be you'll be fine. <laughs> you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Thanks for the kind words. Yeah. See you doing yourself. That's hard.